Hey guys, season in Germany is over and if you remember in the beginning of the year I went to France to go flying in the French Alps and uh, there was a wave flight which I'm gonna show you right now. I held back the footage for quite a while now and I'm super excited to share it with you. To be honest I was freezing up there and I was wearing exactly this jacket. It's super warm and also I wore my skiing trousers and sky boots, um, at least those from Amazon. Um, but it was still really really cold and I want to present you my new solution to that problem right in the end after my wave footage and I'm really looking forward to showing you this exciting product and I'll see you later. So they're already towing and today we have strong wind from north and this is our second attempt for a wave flying since yesterday didn't work out as great as we expected it to. Um, so I'm gonna try to climb into the wave of Pic de Bure. The others are already in the wave. They climbed at 3,800 meters and yeah, I think we will have a great wave condition flight. Also we have thermals under the clouds so in case you lose your altitude you still can climb up again with the thermals. The others in the radio told us that there's wind with 80 kilometers per hour which is a lot. So you need to be prepared for turbulences and I'm gonna see you in the air. Смотрите, друзья, Ангелии уже на максимальное увеличение переключится. Вау, это все волне. Попробуем на максимальном увеличении. Класс. Вот это контент огонь. Огнище, я бы так сказал. Вандерфул. Ой, нас тут гоняет такси другого друзья. Оп. Оп. Шикарная, конечно, погода, чтобы летать вместе. Просто империйбл. freezing just by watching this footage so let me show you what I brought with me to prevent my feet from freezing again so hiding in those cute little packages are heatable socks which you can see here and also a heatable jacket uh, from the brand called Conqueco I hope I spelled that right, but it's okay. So it's mainly about the jacket, not about the name. And I want to show you why this is the perfect solution for gliding. At the moment I'm wearing a stuffed 
jacket, um, it's reflective and it's quite warm but as you can tell it's quite thick and it's really hard to get inside the glider to feel comfortable. It's really important that you can move in the glider and that's why the material soft shell is really popular which this jacket is made of as well but you can see it's a bit thicker and then you also have an area that can be heated so you will stay warm. So we're gonna try this one on and I'll give you a little recap. I found something in my jacket and here is a cable and you're supposed to connect those. So it looks like this. It's not too thick. Here is uh, the USB connector and then there's the power button and you can put this one back inside here and then there's an extra zip for your hand pocket so you still have a pocket and I think you can tell that it's much slimmer compared to my silver jacket but it feels nice and warm more importantly we have the socks they look like this and they're quite thick and here in the beginning of the sock here we can turn it over there is a part that is heated so not the entire sock is heated but let me show you there is a black part and you can feel there is a grid out of cables i guess we should try them on they're quite long which is good so your legs will be warm as well you can see here is a pocket and another cable and we have two extra batteries and you can connect them to the socks and then you just put them inside the little pocket on the side and here you have the power button so there are different modes that you can switch on by pressing just shortly red is the warmest mode white is medium and blue is up to 40 degrees so I'm gonna leave it on red and give you a review whether it's too hot or not. Same counts for the jacket. If you want to switch on the jacket you have a button here and you have to press it for about two seconds and then it's gonna turn into a red light and you know it's gonna be on and then you will feel the heat coming from your upper back. If you are on red it's the hottest mode and then you're gonna go to white and to blue and you can choose how warm you want to be kept by the jacket. So I'm gonna leave it on red as well and then I'm gonna sit here for about 10 minutes and then I'll give you a review whether it's too hot or if it's okay and yeah, I'll just wait for a few minutes now. So I had them on for about 10 minutes now and they've been on and my feet are not sweating they're just comfortably warm at the tip toes and i think it's a nice temperature i'm totally happy with the jacket because i'm never gonna freeze again if you're in a glider and you want to switch on the jacket there's no problem just leave it a bit open and push the button right here and it's not going to be in the way of the parachute or the belt system so it's really accessible and it's nice and warm. So the big question for me for a review obviously is how good does this concept work in a glider? Because obviously we have limited space and sky boots often are really really thick and I don't feel comfortable pushing into the pedals with them. I'll have to try if I fit into my shoes and I do but it feels a bit tighter than usual it's okay but you have to be careful that you don't put on too tight sneakers or boots so otherwise you won't fit in for autumn flights it's a good concept and it will keep your toes warm but i still would recommend to use overshoes to protect all the heat what do you think so i think in total this is a great system i would definitely recommend getting the jacket and if you tend to have cold feet and cold toes I would definitely go for the socks and I hope I'm gonna use them soon in the Thuringer wave and I'm really looking forward testing them in flight soon so the best thing is 
that I have got a discount code for you. So if you're a person that always freezes, um, you can get 20% off with the code JULIETSIERRA20 in the entire shop. And I'll give you a link in the description of this video so you can get access to the products. And I'm really looking forward to see you in the air in Wooster soon. And until then, stay safe and I'll see you. Bye!